story, the hunt for a driver who hit a person, then crashed into a home and took off. CBS 2's Marissa Parr live in the northwest suburb of Wheeling. Marissa, you spoke to the family inside that home. Brad and Erica, that was actually a mother and a daughter that were inside. In fact, it's the daughter's high school graduation today. I'm going to step out of frame so you can see what we can see. The mother who was too shaken to do anything and talk to us on camera today, she said that van, when it came inside of her home, it was just feet away from hitting her inside. This van sent shock waves through this quiet Wheeling neighborhood, killing one person. But it wasn't the mother or daughter who lived inside the home it crashed into, and it wasn't the driver. Neighbor Tanya Kirilova walks me through what she saw from her house next door. I was right here watching through the screen door, and my husband was right here on the driveway. And suddenly, they spotted a man running through the neighborhood as if he was running away from something. I saw a car chasing him in the back. The guy was trying to run behind that tree over there to protect himself from the car. But she says hiding behind a tree didn't stop the driver. She saw the car hit him, but she didn't realize how bad it was until she stepped off her front porch. She saw the van in the house and then spotted the driver jumping out of the car and take off running. My husband, he ran out of his car and he started chasing the driver. In the field behind their homes, she says her husband almost caught up with the driver, but the driver put up a fight. He tried to hit him with a stick, and then that guy just like jumped the fence and just went away. Meanwhile, the mother and daughter inside tell me off camera they're just grateful to be alive. They were just so lucky that the car just went right between both of them and didn't hit any of them. In fact, they didn't even know someone was hurt until the daughter heard moaning from somewhere in the rubble. They found him underneath of the car inside of the house. Police tell us that person, the man neighbors say was being chased, didn't survive. It feels scary because there's so many police. I'm 10 years in this house and nothing like that happened before. Police have been canvassing the neighborhoods, asking everyone questions, using drones, all in an effort to find that driver who's still on the loose. Live from Wheeling, Marissa Parra, CBS 2 News.